Hello chip Gators. Welcome to my working kitchen in our home among the gum trees in Australia. If you are new to our channel, welcome. So glad you could join us. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. Today is Spag Bowl Day and I need to get the sauce made. So I never do a single, single recipe of anything. I always double up and get ahead of our meals or with our meals. And one of the easiest recipes to double up is spaghetti sauce or my version of spaghetti sauce. So today I'm going to make enough for four meals for my regular size family. And you know what? It isn't going to take any longer to make four meals than it does to take one. To me, it just makes sense to double the recipe. And I love double up cooking. And I love getting a meal into the freezer for Ron. We're all really conscious at the moment, too, of the need to save electricity and gas. And you know what? Double up cooking does that. I'll do almost anything, almost anything, to keep those power bills reasonable. It's getting harder and harder, but double up cooking helps me with that. So this is going to be in real time. So you know exactly how long it um, takes me to cook enough pasta sauce for four meals for my regular size family. And I'll work through it with you step by step, just the way I do it. Now the first thing I do is get the kettle boiling for the TVP. And then I get the TVP measured out into a heat proof bowl. So let's hit the button on the kettle. Kettle's on. And then I need to get out what I am going to be using. So bear with me as I get out all the ingredients that I normally do. I usually get everything out at once as I'm ready to prepare so it's all there laid out in front of me. So bowl for the TVP and I'll have a plate to sit on top of it. I need the wok. I need my wok. So out comes the wok. And then I need the ingredients. So let me just dip into the pantry and get them. I need a TVP. So let's flip it back up so you can see what I'm doing. I need the TVP right here. Then I'm going to have tomato soup and tin tomatoes and a jar of my home canned mints. So there's the beef. Two tins of tomato soup and a tin of tomatoes. That kettle doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, it's nice and hot. Okie dokie. Now, I'm using a quart of a quart jar of mints. So about a kilo of mints in there. So that means I'm going to use two cups of TVP. Roughly two cups of mint, two cups of TVP. So let me get myself organised. Okay. Oh, somebody mixed in the white with the... Doesn't matter. There we go. Pull out the white. We don't want the fake chickeny TVP in there, do we? Doesn't really matter. And right. Did you know that the white chunks of TVP are supposed to be chicken or white meat? I have used them in some um, chicken pot pies and so on and so on and so forth. Get the kettle. Two cups of boiling water into this bowl. 
if I had stock made I would use stock just for extra flavor but the boiling water does the job okay I just sit a plate on the bowl just like so so that it'll steam now while that's happening put the lid back on the TVP before I knock it over I want to drain the mints so to open the jar here good seal on that there is a fat cap on this mince I'm going to keep that I want to use it for browning so I'm just going to pour the stock off You can use it if you want to, but in this instance, I think there'll be enough fluid in the recipe that I don't need to. Okay, so this goes straight into the wok. Let's get it in. Take the lid off and into the wok. And we'll get that heated or starting to heat. Turn it down a bit. And I'll let that mince come up to a simmer and the fat will melt. And it will be all deliciousness and by then the TVP should be just about ready so in the meantime I'm going to grab some I'm going to grab some garlic some oregano and some basil because they're what we like in our spaghetti sauce then I didn't get out the onion so I'm going to get some onion be right back Okay, I'm using dehydrated onion to use it up. I have plenty of fresh onion, but it's all frozen, so I'm going to use some dehydrated onion. And I am just going to just going to add eh, two hands full. And I'll put that in with the meat while it's browning. That way, it'll absorb some of the stock out of the mint and start to rehydrate too. If you've got fresh onion, use fresh onion. If you have frozen or fresh beef, use frozen or fresh beef. I'm using canned because it's quick. Okay. Right, while I'm waiting for that to happen, I can open the tomato soup and the diced tomatoes. I'm back to commercial diced tomatoes or mine finally used up. And I've got tomato paste in the fridge that needs to be used up so I might even add a blob of that just gives a bit of richness I never used tomato paste when the kids were little because it was too rich for them and they didn't like it um there we go all righty now down so that you can see what's going on in the lock. Um, that better, a little bit. It's simmering. Scrape down the sides. Get all that. Get
get all that onion in there so that it will rehydrate. Check the 2VP. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the um, chicken 2VP. It'll all just go in and in it's going to. Give it a good mix in. Now, the only thing with adding TVP is I can't leave it to simmer on its own for a long time like I like to. I have to keep coming back and stirring it because the TVP will stick. But that's okay. I can come back and stir it. Right. So that's that. All right, garlic, there's your garlic granules. Sweet basil, love the sound of sweet basil. And oregano, mm, so good. Okay, you could just use mixed herbs if you wanted to. A little bit of garlic. If I have fresh garlic, I use fresh garlic and leave the granules for something else. This is very forgiving. Okay. Right. In goes the tin of tomatoes. This is a double tin because I'm doubling the recipe, um, quadrupling the recipe actually. So that's the equivalent of, four, of two small tins, so one big tin. And the tomato paste after all that, so let me get that in there now. I'll add a bit of richness to it. already smells really good. Okay, put the lid back on the tomato paste. Let's get the tomato soup in there. <coughs> after the other tuna tomato soup I might add one more we will see okay last tin freezes really really well and it reheats really really well and of course if it's been in the freezer for a while then the flavors get a bit of a chance to meld and it becomes even more delicious get rid of that for all right that's it Guys, that's how I make my pasta. The trick now 
is to get the splatter guard on it. Bring it back to a simmer. And then I let it cook for 10 or 15 minutes and it is done. Simple, easy, quick. Four times, so four meals of pasta sauce in the time it takes to do one. How good is that? You can hear it popping away there. It doesn't get much easier or much faster to prepare four dinners than that. It is simple. Now, even if you had to brown your meat, it would only add five minutes to the cooking time. I know because I've timed it. I know I've done it. I love double up cooking. And when you double up, double up cooking, it's even better. I've now got one meal to eat and three to go in the freezer. So the next time I need pasta sauce or bolognese sauce or sauce for pasta bake or stuffed potatoes or whatever, it's done. It's done. All I have to do is take it out of the freezer and thaw it and heat it. It is done. No, no more cooking for that. Now, to portion it out, this is my trusty ladle. This ladle measures out all sorts of things. One of those is a serve of pasta sauce. So on a plate, there will be spaghetti or noodles, whatever. One of those onto the spaghetti is a serve of pasta sauce. I use this ladle to measure out and portion out all sorts of things, not just soup, curries, casseroles, stews, pie filling for individual pies, all sorts of things, desserts, custards, all sorts of things it gets used for. It's a very handy dandy appliance, even if it is red. I've had it a very long time. So there you have it. I don't know how long that took. I will have a look and see. How long have we been talking? Not long. But dinner's done. In the time it would take to cook the pasta, I could have the sauce done. Double up cooking is worth it. Cooking from scratch is worth it. Having a pantry filled with ingredients gives you options so that you can make spag bowl sauce or you could do whatever, tomato soup and cheese toasties. Doesn't matter. You've got the ingredients so you have the options. In this day and age when we're all very budget conscious and really needing to save money and stretch those dollars, Thinking ahead and planning how we, how we prepare our meals is going to really factor into what we eat. Anyway, my meal plan is always on the fridge and always in the member centre. If you are a Chief Cats Club member, you can log in and download the meal plans. Go to recipes and under that you'll see the meal plans. There are 17 and a half years of meal plans there. Over 200, 210, 211 meal plans there. Monthly meal plans for you to, to gain inspiration from. I hope you do log in and make use of them. And the recipes are in the recipe file. If you can't find one, type it in the search and see what comes up. Anyway, thank you so much for um, joining me today and watching me play around in the kitchen with my double up cooking and I'm just looking not even 20 minutes so how fast is that for four dinners anyway thank you again for, for joining me thank you for watching all the way through if you um, like the video a thumbs up would be lovely if you're not already subscribed to our channel we would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you uh, know anyone who might like to know about Cheapskates or see this video, hit the share button. 
just send them the link. I'll be back very soon with another Cheap Scats Club video to show you how to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing even in today's crazy world. But until then, happy cheap skating, everyone.